as far as the budget. She might have. Okay, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the Monday, January 28th, 2019 version of the New Ulm Human Rights Commission. I'd like to call the meeting to order. Uh, on the agenda, number two, election of officers. Um, we'll start with um, secretary. Anyone have nominations for secretary? Better nominate me, or I'm going to nominate someone else. I nominate so. Wendy. <laughs> Can I? I'll get second it? it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, and then we'll move on to um, vice chair. I nominate the absent Dan Kalk. Okay, and Dan has accepted the the nomination um, per an email. Can I get a second for Dan Kolk as vice chair? I'll, I'll second it. Go ahead. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? And finally, uh, chair for 2019. I nominate Tim Fenning. Frenny. Frenny. And I'll, se Frenny. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, motion passes. We have Wendy as secretary, Dan Kulk as vice chair, and Tim Frenning as chair for 2019 Human Rights Commission. Has everybody had a chance to look at the agenda for tonight's meeting? I want to read this, but I know right now. Any additions or questions? <coughs> I vote to approve the agenda. Okay, any second? Can I get a second? Second. All, or all in favor, excuse me? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, approval of November 26th and December 19th minutes. Um, has everybody had a chance to look over those minutes? I know there were a few of you that weren't here for those meetings. Um, any questions or changes or additions? I think they were fine. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, minutes have been approved. Um, the budget report, I don't think that there's anything that's changed since the last couple meetings. Um, no, it looks like the last uh, items on here were from the awards banquet uh, in November, so I do not see anything um, new on here. I do see the, <coughs> uh, the fund is at about 50% percent uh 50.4 percent uh, at this point so we do have uh, almost half of our budget left and i think it runs through mm, june if i'm not mistaken so and the one thing that wouldn't have come out of there yet is the books that i purchased still haven't been reimbursed so books and then the um prizes for the contest right. and that should probably take up the remaining fund oh, right great Okay. Any questions on the agenda? Or excuse me, on the budget report? No. <clears throat> All right, move on to 6A, uh, Joint Religious Legislative Coalition and Day on the Hill. Um, our speaker was unable to make it due to the weather conditions, so we'll go ahead and table that. Uh, 6B, newspaper article. Uh, I know Dan is um, and has been working on that. Um, so we'll table that until next meeting. Um, the Vitals Training, 6C, January 20th. Anybody attend that? I know Dan went. So we'll go ahead and table that as well uh, so he can talk about that. We'll leave it on the agenda. He can speak about it next meeting in February. Uh, 6D, response to letter received by Alma Marin. Uh, Wendy, you want to talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. Um so Alma received a letter in the mail, an anonymous letter that um, was um, a little, it was upsetting, and she brought it to the attention of local groups, ours being one of them, to see, um, or to, to just kind of discuss what a proper response might be. So um, representatives from our eight lo local groups got together and decided that each group then would write a response letter. So has mm -hmm. everyone had a chance to read the letter that was sent to Alma? I am right now. Okay. Go ahead. I have not, but I will. Okay. Um, I read um, the draft of this response, but 
Alma believes that it was um, the catalyst in her receiving it was because in the journal when they take <laughs> your picture and ask your response, she had put something People about... People on the street or something, yeah. Yeah, right, right. So she had written a res or had given a response of um, not favorable to Trump. And that whoever sent the letter also put a copy of her picture with that response in the letter that he sent to her. Okay. But there are other, um, there are other like identifying things in the letter such as um, like legal women voters, they knew that she was in cohorts mm -hmm. with. You know, there were there were other things, so they knew they knew more about Alma than just that one little incident. But that maybe it was it was sent to her lo not long after that was published. So, um, as a, the a com the new Human Rights Commission, we're, I'm asking that we could write a response to the letter and have it published as a letter to the editor in the journal. And I did draft a response. Um, if we want to read this and see if this is something. That we that we had agreed to sign, or if you guys had, like I said, this is a draft, and I'm hmm? the, that the only person sure. that has seen it, so I, I'm um, open to edits or comments or whatnot. But I tried um, to make it positive and not. I didn't mention anything about the person who wrote it, but just maybe for those of us that are in the community, or what what can we do when things like this happen, and what um, responses might be, or how we can go forward from here, was where my head was at when I wrote it. So. Okay. Um, do we want to read the response, or do, do you want? Do you want me to read this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ahead. I put, um, we, the new the New Ulm Human Rights Commission, would like to formally respond to a letter received by one of our longtime New Ulm residents. The specifics of this unsigned letter are unable to be reprinted here due to the content, but suffice it to say, it was peppered with the N word. Calls for this resident to quote go back to where she came from, as well as misogynistic and homophobic insults. We say this. To those in our community who may feel threatened or hurt by such an action, know this is a small voice greatly outnumbered by those who are glad to have to ha glad you have chosen New Alm as your home. This is your town too, and you're welcome here. We support you, we hold you up, and we are your neighbors. To those of you who are sickened by this action, please don't be silent. Let your voices be heard, be visible, write letters of support, call out racism, homophobia, misogyny, or any other disparaging comments or actions when you see them or hear them. Support your friends, coworkers, and neighbors who may not have lived here for generations or may look or speak differently than you. Racism, sexism, misogyny, homophobia, homophobia, and the like are learned behaviors. We need to work at not teaching them or showing acceptance through our silence. Perhaps our next generation will be kinder and more accepting as a result, and our community will be even stronger. New Ulm is better than this. Okay. Good. Uh, like that. Wendy, I might suggest maybe including in that long list, because there were numerous, not only the long listings, but ethnic slurs too. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how, and that's... Just in that, you know, as well as misogynistic, homophobic, um, as well, uh, just you, put are it on... Are you talking up at yeah, the top? Yeah, yeah. Ethnic, numerous ethnic, slur, ethnic slurs, as well as misogynistic and homophobic insults. Yes. Instead of the N-word? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Because you're just bringing, yeah, you know, yeah. that word back into. Yes. Right. Okay. I just yes, have a question. Sure. Yes. I heard the word she. Yes. Do you want to use? Do you, you want to use shit? I think so, just because a lot of the comments were towards or against women. Women, yeah. Oh. In the letter itself. So I, that's I, why I, I think. I haven't seen the letter. I don't want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get upset. It wouldn't be a good day. <laughs> But so I just thought I, I read that too and thought about that too, Bob. Yeah, I, uh, I, I don't think that would be a problem with the person. Um, no, I don't think so either. Yeah. But, so you want me to change N word to ethnic, or excuse me, tell me what you said again. I said numerous ethnic slurs, but ethnic or racial slurs. Or racial slurs, yeah. Okay, or maybe both. Yeah. Because they were both. Right, they were. Yeah, that's good. Otherwise, it's very good. Yes, yes. I agree. Yeah. Mm. So, that, do we? Well, I think I we do. Think and we then should. Yeah. Also, um, in talking to Lisa, I had asked her if we needed anyone's formal approval for us to um, submit a letter to publish it, and she ran it past, and I'm forgetting who it was, someone who knows more than we do, and they said that we don't need formal approval as long as it's not in any way looking like it came from the city. Right. But it has to be from us. From the commission, individuals okay. and I, and or the commission. I think it has to be. My take on it, and I can clarify this with her, was individuals on the commission. So we would all sign our names. Um, 
and up here, then I was thinking instead of we, the New Ulm Human Rights Commission, we might have to say we members of, there you, you know, go. just to make it clear. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not, it, yeah, the members are. We should get everybody's signature too. Yeah, and then we should get everyone's signature. Yeah, everybody. And I'm not, um, and I, I think we can just do that unofficially, right? Can we vote on it, just the letter itself and Here, then the and individual then get, yeah. okays on who, who's all right signing it? Okay. okay. Um, can I get a motion to uh, approve the letter? I'll approve. Second? Second. Uh, all the ayes? Aye. 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 Nays? Passes. Okay, ready to move on to uh, Education Committee Report 7A. Uh, student Commissioner, we received one student application. Unfortunately, the individual is no longer interested due to uh, scheduling or other commitments. Um, anybody have anything to add? Probably should revisit this again, huh? Maybe towards the end of the school year. Yeah, so looking at it starts in September, maybe we can put a push on it or a suggestion again for next year. I mean, this is something new for the kids to look at. Right, right. At, um, if we're, we're the ones that are interested, we need to get them interested. And maybe looking at that again in the spring so that they could start in September. Okay. I'm wondering, too, if we, <coughs> set, we look at it again, but we maybe consider having one or more than one of us go to the schools and maybe speak mm -hmm. to specific groups because you get a you know this letter coming and having a teacher or whoever it, it, it's so disconnected I think that maybe yeah. it's going to be easier to drum up interest if sure. you go there in person yeah. and be able to answer questions <coughs> mm -hmm. so maybe we can talk about that at a later meeting but I definitely think that's what that we're going to have to do I think it's a good idea yeah put that in the notes would definitely uh, get some more ideas or about that with uh, all the other commissioners when we're together next month thinking off the top of my head is that all anything that you would look at a college student with as a student or are we looking at this to being a high school student well the problem with a college student is they need to be a resident yeah they, yeah we, uh, that's they need to be a resident, resident here okay right. okay thank you <coughs> just all right, looking um, at that young age group move on to uh, 7b the video contest and we'll just wrap it all up together video and poster and essay contests is there any traction on this um all of the lesson plans and materials were delivered to the schools exception one but we'll get that out there and um the date that we had for a cutoff was february 1st which is now yeah we're missing the almost the entire week leading up to that if it was if it was something that was going to be done in school so i'm going to ask that we postpone or we we extend that due to date to march 1st right there it really at is at least yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah at least yeah Sounds good. Okay. Let's make that happen. I don't we need and to vote on that, do we? Say that again? We don't need to vote on that, do we? No. Can if you want, but <laughs> by consensus. I we, we, yeah, anymore. I said we, yeah, we, <laughs> we by consensus. So then we need to let the schools know that so I can, um, Larry, you had, or who, I can, what's I can the email. Way to do that? I can do the IGNU and I can email the St. Paul's and MBL and let them okay. know. And I can do public and um, cathedral and Riverbend and Kids Connection. Cathedral, elementary too. That and then I'm wondering if there should be something in the paper because then we're talking about the homeschoolers or kids that maybe aren't connected with the school participating. Yeah. So it would have to be some kind of um, little blurb in the paper about yeah. that, right? Like I is think there that like needs to be. Bag or something? Mm -hmm. So we're setting the due date for both the poster and essay contest as well as the video contest. Yeah, all three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Is there a place? Else? Is there a place that we can announce it in the in the in the paper, like the okay. editor's mailbag or something? I don't know how that works, or a short blurb someplace. People look at that. Yeah. Does someone want to contact Kevin. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to contact Kevin. Um, I can do that. Okay. Got a couple days off here. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Jeez, <yeah. laughs> I know. Everything's going to Wendy. Yeah. yeah. All right. I volunteer for, and I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Uh, eight legislative update. Dan is not here. Um, so we will check back in with him next month. Um, that might be something I'm going to take over. But we'll uh, talk more in February about that, so we'll table it for now. 
uh, city council liaison. Deanna is currently um, our liaison, and she's not here, so we will table that until next month. <clears throat> Date of our next meeting, February 25th, 2019. I don't know if anybody has any issues with that. I think so. Okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Can I get a second? I'll second. All in favor to adjourn? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Thank you. Did you get a chance to read it? Not yet.